Hello my young Padawans! Today I will show you how I built my first real lightsaber that actually works! Are you ready for journey? According to Jedi Legends, lightsaber is an elegant weapon with original design for a more civilized age. Each Jedi assembles his lightsaber by himself using his own technical skills and the Force. A power unit and a crystal emitting a plasma stream are hidden in the hilt of the saber from which the blade of the lightsaber is formed. So we need plasma. Good news is that I know the recipe. Take water, pass an electric current through it, collect the resulting hydrogen and oxygen under pressure and set it on fire. It turns out the flow of low temperature plasma, which can burn metal and form a very stable blade since hydroxy gas has the highest ignition rate in the universe. If we use a high pressure electrolyzer and pump hydrogen with oxygen into the tank from a thick walled stainless steel, so we get the first and main element of the lightsaber, a bunch of energy in a small tank. But so the lightsaber works as it should, and so it was. I almost said the word safety out loud, <laughs> we will need to make something else. Simple but reliable mechanical valve to supply gas and activate the blade. The smallest gas reducer in the world to lower the pressure and the gas access speed to operating limits, otherwise the flame will break. Emitter with nozzle and ejector. Ejector is a tube of a certain size which is installed on the nozzle and due to the intake of ambient air makes the fire blade more powerful and stable. The ignition system based on Tesla oscillator, microscopic container with alcohol to stabilize the flame and increase the length of the blade, and the heart of the lightsaber is the lightsaber crystal, <laughs> kidding, the flashback arrestor. That is a very important part. If you remove it or put a valve that is not designed for the desired pressure, then the flame will instantly get in the tank of compressed hydroxy and there is every chance to perform the favorite trick of Skywalker family – get rid of the hand with the lightsaber. As you can see, theoretically nothing complicated, I just need to manufacture all these parts and squeeze them into the 11 inches hilt. It seems that Jedi Legends didn't lie, a lightsaber cannot really be assembled without using the Force. Technical skills are also important, when fitting parts micron accuracy is needed, since the density of assembly of the components here is almost like an o'clock. So without true Jedi concentration and meditation, there is nothing to do here. But you know what is the most awesome thing? While I was working on the hilt, one thought didn't leave me. That long, long time ago, in a galaxy far away, this model really existed. Look at it! There is not a single extra component in it. Everything is in its place, even a radiator for cooling the protective cover and screws to align the blade are on their places.
So, achievements! This is the first real lightsaber in the world with a metal long blade that can fuse metal and the entire device is placed in the hilt. Due to the small size of hydroxy tank, this model works for less than 30 seconds, so the duel should be fast and qualified. The stability of the blade can be strongly improved by increasing temperature and pressure, for example assemble a lightsaber from a plasma cutter, but then it is unlikely to fit into the hilt. Finally, the cherry on top. If the Sith will use lightning in a duel, then this plasma blade will attract discharge and neutralize them. Science fiction is not a science fiction, right? As you can see, for high voltage experiments, I had to reduce the length of the blade, not to melt the insulation on the Tesla oscillator accidentally and not to burn the drawings, which I know you're waiting for. Next time I will show you more interesting things about this lightsaber, so subscribe to Alex Lab channel and don't miss it. Watch the video about high pressure electrolyzer that gives power for this lightsaber. Join Alex Lab members to get the PDF guides. May the force be with you.